This acoustic sounds like a Dan Fogelberg song. I saw my baby at the supermarket, standing behind the pomegranate. Hello, people of the internet future, my 230 Phoenician subscribing family. How are you? And hello to my returning and casual viewers. Did you see the title and thumbnail of this video? I Method is spoiling me on the lip plumpers. And I am here for it, but more than just in the overused sense of being here for things. I'm wearing cherry right now, the cherry colored and flavored uh, lip, uh, I Method lip plumper. Here's a video I did for it previously. And I Method sent me rose to experiment with. So here's a picture of me wearing the rose shade. I'm wearing cherry now. And then there's also a picture of me wearing cherry. And here are the lip plumpers themselves in my hand. On the left is cherry and on the right is rose. And the packaging is so lovely with the little pentagon shape. It, it very strongly rivals like the about face lippy uh, packaging. So iMethod is totally spoiling me and there's, they want to spoil you as well. So here's a new giveaway. Three winners will be chosen and the rules are that they will offer you your choice of cherry or red. And if you notice in the picture, this lip plumper works very well and effortlessly. It's like an instant gratification. I love it. I love it. So let me, I just like totally went off on a small tangent, but the rules for the giveaway are you must live in the United States. I would like you to be subscribed to me if you're not already. I don't require you to be publicly listed. Uh, if you're a privately listed subscriber, that's fine. Um, all that I ask is that if you do need to subscribe to enter this giveaway, that you stay subscribed. And the reasoning for that is that it does hurt any channel to receive like a wave of subscribers who then unsubscribe. So please take a gander, take a peek at my channel and see if it's what you like. I, I do pick days, except for this recent Ipsy pick day, which I missed out on because I, I didn't get in on time. But anyway, I also do spoilers. I'm going to comment that later on in the video. And I do unboxings, I do beauty content. Coming soon, I'm going to have a series of my top five YouTube channels of certain subjects. I'm really hoping that will take off or or at least I'll I know I'll have fun doing it So let me see what else what other giveaway rules? Oh the comment So please like this video and also the comment that you could leave is whether you would like the red I mean, I'm sorry the cherry or the rose and if your comment only says rose cherry, that's fine or just leave it in a sentence, you cherry or rose, whatever shade you want. Uh, let me see, a week from today, which is going to be Monday the 13th, which is also BoxyCharm Choice Day. Uh, in the evening, Eastern Standard Time, I don't want to give a certain time, because Murphy's Law, <laughs> the universe will conspire against me. I'll spend all morning or all day on the BoxyCharm Choice video. But like, um, like around 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, on Monday the 13th, around that time in the evening, I will post video content uh, of the drawing. And it'll, I'll, again, like, like I did last time, um, like I did last time with the winged eyeliner, it'll be like a drawing where I pick a number out. And I, I align the numbers in accord, according to whoever um, commenting like, first comment is one and so forth. So it would be like, if, if you were to, like, check the video, it would be like the bottom, if the bottom comment would be number one and two, excluding reply threads, that kind of thing. Um, what else did I want to say about the giveaway? The drawing video. So the drawing will be done, or the video, uh, and posted, uploaded on Monday the 13th. Ideally... Uh, you would respond to that video acknowledging that you won. There'll be three of you winners. Um, ideally, you'll have like 48 hours to respond by, you know, writing a comment acknowledging that you know that you won or emailing me. Also emailing iMethod. Um, what else? And, but I, I will give you a full week. So that would be 
June the 20th. Oh, and that's Ipsy Mini Pick Day that day. <laughs> so, um, uh, but I will give you a full week. I know people aren't, like, married to YouTube constantly. So that's the giveaway rules. Very simple. iMethod is sponsoring this giveaway. So, so thank you so much to iMethod for sponsoring this brand new giveaway. It's so exciting. Let me know if you're excited. Let me know if you love lip plumpers as much as I. So moving on to the topic of BoxyCharms, BoxyCharms spoilers, I've been missing very dearly producing those videos. Um, well, not just, not only the fact that it, those, my BoxyCharms spoilers videos always traditionally perform the best, um, very much because I so enjoy doing spoilers videos, especially for BoxyCharm. So I just wanted to let you know that this current month and the previous month regarding BoxyCharm spoilers, it's definitely been changed up as I've, I've mentioned before the past couple months. I was, yeah, I, I saw a difference three months ago. Um, so currently this month and last, Boxy unofficial, hmm, yeah, an unofficial official release of, um, They've been releasing Choice. They've been spoiling Choice like two weeks before Choice, which is a brand new thing. You know, that's all about the, the changes that are very obviously and well-known afoot. So, like, uh, Choice, the next Choice, as I said, is Monday the 13th for BoxyCharm. And as so that's like a week from now. And a week, a week ago, so it's been a full two weeks, where Choice... Spoilers have been spoiled. Again, that's a brand new thing. And there's a, a YouTube channel from a BoxyCharm representative. The YouTube channel is called Johnny on the Go. And he is a BoxyCharm rep, and he has been demonstrating these choice spoilers. Um, this is a huge aside from the very long-standing tradition of during the beginning of, like, the Sunday or the Monday of the last week of the month, spoilers would be unofficially released, and it would be like, like, unconfirmed, but crazy accurate, and it would be like 20 full-on product spoilers, and remember back in the day, they were, they were new, it, you know, inventory, you know, inventory was new back in the day, so there'd be like 20 base, like a good 15 for premium, and then on Lux months, the month prior, it'd be like about a dozen, and I would use that as my, I'm like navel gazing already, but I would use all the, I would do further products research based on this, the springboard of my initial unconfirmed research. And then I would use all that product research as an outline to write my content. And then I dress it up with really bad comedy, like really stupid jokes. And then, um, and then dress it up with B-roll ad copy and just have a blast. And I, I've, I've easily spent like 16 hours on like a 20 minute boxy charm spoilers video. They performed very well, and I like to think it's because I put so much effort into it. There's also the SEO of people wanting to know what the spoilers were of the month, and that's that's obvious. That's very basic SEO, search engine optimization. But I, I took so much pride in spending that much time on boxy charm videos. What I'm trying to say is that, like, I have a need <laughs> to do spoilers videos. Like, I have a need to do it. I enjoy it. Um, all that research and writing, the filming takes, like, no time at all. And then the editing is, yeah. Uh, for any, for those of you who, who don't, like, have a, a YouTube channel, like, you consume content on YouTube, you know, long-form content of YouTube and Patreon, like, a lot of editing even your most basic video, like a lot of editing time goes into it. And it, it's a, a skill that you learn is, you know, you need to know how to do it. It takes a long time. So what I'm trying to say is that the spoilers research video, I do all that stuff and I get into what is known as a peak state because I, I enjoy it so immensely. And I've heard of peak state my whole life and never understood what it is. It's it's when you have a workflow. It could be creative, but also like exercise, kinesthesiology, 
working with others, whatever you like excel at, whatever you are passionate about. A peak state is when everything falls into place. The creativity is effortless. And also time stops. Like when you're finished with the peak state, with whatever you've accomplished, you look up and you can't... It, it's so fulfilling. Like, let me know in the comments below if you've ever encountered peak state. And, and let us let us all know what... Start a conversation about what you were doing. Uh, peak state is like phenomenal. So what I'm trying to say is that I miss doing those. Um, it's up to Boxy and of course, you know, changes are afoot. Uh, Boxy and Ipsy. Meanwhile, over on Ipsy, you get the, the best of both worlds with, with the Boxy Charm inventory acquisition and plus the personalization, uh, you know, the algorithm choosing what I call it. That's my word for it. It's actually, um, Ipsy has its own word for it, ultra personalization. But yeah, Ipsy chooses for you like Boxy Charm stuff. So with Ipsy, you get the best of both worlds. I used to call um, it facetiously Ipsy Charm, but, you know, it's it's owned by Beauty For All. Beauty For All is the umbrella company. Ah, but here's a spoiler in both BoxyCharm Premium and Ipsy this month. It's Geronimo Soap House Body Butter. It's got me intrigued. A body butter cream. Let me know if you receive this in Ipsy Charm. explanation about BoxyCharm spoilers videos because due to how, how I just explained how BoxyCharm is releasing it, I haven't been able to produce a BoxyCharm spoilers video and I just want to let you know that if you're a relatively new subscriber, it's not a, and you subscribe for spoilers videos, which is the bulk of this content, I just want you to know that there's, it's no, there's no bait and switch going on where I'm switching up new content and, you know, you're not getting what you subscribed for. That, that content is hopefully on the way, but up to BoxyCharm, all the changes there. But let me know in the comment below if you're still with Boxy. Oh, speaking of BoxyCharm, I've noticed that, you know, there was always subscription unboxings, but I've noticed because due to the changes of Boxy, this is a good thing. And it just took me a while to think of, but let me just fiddle with my camera a while, because after recording three quarters of your video is when you fix your camera. <laughs> but anyway, but I noticed people partake in Drop Shop again Monday the 13th. Um, and then they, they purchase their purchase on Drop Shop and their uh, their haul is their unboxing. Like I noticed that's replacing unboxing videos. And I finally trained my mind to realize that that's the same. Like, you you have more choice over what you chose, and it's still sharing. So I love that. that that's a good positive change. I, I'm hoping, I'm hoping what's over with is the numerous, numerous, like, years, months long, uh, oh, I'm so tired of this subscription, and I'm complaining about it, when clearly you're not tired of it because you pay for it every month. So I'm hoping that long era ends and that people who, who partake in boxy charm drop shop people who partake in, in base subscription do it because they enjoy it and they're unboxing it because they enjoy it like i'm welcoming that area <laughs> and i'm trying to push it <laughs> hard uh, hoping i have a bit of influence so let me see the last topic on the agenda okay is my life update and i didn't say it was like an interesting life <laughs> An interesting life update, but it's mostly about the weather here in Jersey. So it's officially summer, it's after Memorial Day, and it is not disgustingly hot. It is like doable hot, like summertime, warm, sunny, you're, you're dressed in your typical summer clothes. Um, especially that rule about you can wear white after Memorial Day, which I still do. <laughs> but anyway... I usually, I usually get heat stroke in the summertime, and I'm usually, like, extremely, extremely, extremely sensitive to it, where, like, on a typical hot summer weather day where people are uncomfortable and just sweaty, I actually get those symptoms, so, and I've had it very badly for the last five years, and it's always based on 
the actual heat of the summertime. And it's not that my health particularly improved. It's just that the summer weather so far here in Jersey is so mild that I'm actually out enjoying the summer weather. Because usually, like, when it's hot and I can't go outside, it, it might as well be winter to me. Because I'm not outside enjoying the sunshine and summer activity. And what that does to you, it turns you kind of into a mean little troll where you're glad if it rains, you know. God, other people can't go to picnics, you know, that kind of thing. But this, this weekend especially and this past week, I have been able to go swimming at the pool, like taking jogs and just feeling that vitamin D sunshine on me. I've developed a full body pail from not, not doing any kind of sunning the last five years. So I'm very, very hoping this keeps up. And if you think you know it, don't. Don't try to rain on my parade and tell me it won't. <laughs> but anyway, I've, I've been really enjoying the outdoors. And I know my, my content is boosting. But maybe, fingers crossed, I am expecting next month to act like typical July weather. But so far, I, I had no real summer plans. And I'm actually carving out some summer plans, like... Perhaps the beach, oh, that's very risky for me, but there is a local public pool that just reopened. Um, one of our local lakes got drained, and that was like a tragedy. There was something going on up here in Newark, New Jersey, where a few years ago, shortly before the pandemic, where there's like mildew. There, there's something in the lakes, and a lot of uh, man-made lakes were drained, so that that's still a thing. But I, I'm just so ridiculously excited to be able to, like, to do some summery things. Also, uh, if you know anything about New Jersey, there's summer ticks and bears, and that's, like, an issue here. I'm in a rural part of Jersey near eastern PA. So let me know what, you, what you're doing so far, for the, so far for the summer. Are you making any serious plans? Have you ever experienced peak state? Peak state. And let me know also in the comments below if you choose cherry or rose. And what do you think of those shades? Cherry and rose, they're my favorites. I'm just loving this look. So also, lastly, please enjoy my new 15-second happiness button that I wanted to share with you that I recently discovered on my homepage of YouTube. I'm going to cite him. 15 second video and he put chapters on it and also it'll be linked in a description box below for your perusing enjoyment so thank you for watching my content i hope you're having a wonderful summer week like i did and i'll see you next time friends hopefully for a spoils spoilers video which i crave the production of i crave it <laughs>